Hello people, and welcome back to part 15 of the City of Skylines build guide. And you may be wondering what exactly it is we are looking at here. I've gone ahead and downloaded a couple more mods for this series. Now don't worry, they aren't game breaking. This can still follow all for people playing the kind of base unmodded vanilla game, and especially on consoles as well. Uh, we are playing with more beautification which gives us access to a whole bunch of new fancy props, uh, all different kinds of things. And uh, it's allowed me to kind of flesh out our little industrial area that we have going on over here that we worked on last episode. Apologies for the re-upload as well. Uh, I was an idiot and forgot to delete a little bit out at the end, but you know, you guys can still watch it now. Uh, we have a couple of additions to show off before we work on to today's episode. I really like this. This is a, this is a really cute area. So, Last episode we left off and we had um, this this bit of city kind of ended here. Uh, I've added a bit, a little bit of a road network here and a couple of little paths coming in. Uh, I'm planning to make this into a little bit of a business park, um, just that kind of accompanies the the planned out industry. I think that'd be pretty cool to work on back here. Probably end up deleting these. Just wanted to see what spawned in. And we also have a new interchange for the industrial area. So now all of our garbage and some of the woodwork, these guys still have their own interchange down here, of course. Uh, and our fleshed out industry and cargo ports will now have easy access uh, on to the highway, which is going to be really sweet. So let's have a little look at how this is working. Uh, if we're approaching the city from what I guess we would dictate as the north, we are now coming in here. We have an exit onto this way here, and this is going to allow people to come in to the industrial area, uh, traveling from this direction. And then, likewise, if you're leaving the industrial area, you have a way back onto this side of the road, and then this road curves down the side here, heading them in that direction. You can just kind of get a little bit of an overview um, of how this traffic is flowing as we leave the game on three speed. So it's working really nicely, and it's going to stop a lot of traffic heading through the main interchange a little further down the highway, uh, which has also uh, been changed, you'll be pleased to know. And further down here, we also have a entry into the industrial estate, which we've decorated with a couple of trees and a bit of fencing, which is quite nice. Now heading a little further down the highway, we also have a new interchange, finally. This thing has been needed to be upgraded for a long time. So with the amount of traffic we had heading through this interchange, the roundabout really wasn't handling it all too well. Now there is one e uh, entry, or kind of one path that isn't included, and it's this way here. So if you're traveling from this interchange here, you cannot get onto this way if you're having up the right side of the road and then into this way. I did that on purpose, purely because if they want to get into the industry, then they can come on here. And if they're trying to get onto residential down this road here, then I don't want them using this interchange anyway. I want them to carry on down here, and then they can kind of mill around. Holy crap, this thing leveled up. That is way too big. We need to sort that out. <laughs> need to get rid of that. Uh, yeah, so this is a new interchange now, and you see everything's flowing nicely. Uh, it's a lot smoother than what it was, so again, you can guys can just kind of pause the video there and kind of get an idea for the road layout. It's a really simple one. Just, yeah, pause the video there if you guys want to build this. It's nothing too impressive, but uh, it keeps traffic flowing to an extent. You see, it's a lot better than, uh, than what we had. Uh, furthermore, I wanted to do a touch more detailing on our prison island today, which we will get on with. Um, and I also tried out a little bit of a train line here from the island, but this bridge is way, uh, way too crazy. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and actually delete that. Um, I thought it might be cool to have train lines over there, but yeah, I just don't think it really fits the theme that I'm going for. Uh, so they will have to be deleted, and then of course I need to... Remember to hook my roads back up before I start recording. There we go. Uh, and then last but not least, we also have some nice burnt additions <laughs> to our... Oh, we have an abandoned building down here as well. A couple of them, they'll be, they'll be fine. Don't worry about that. Uh, we have a couple 
of nice new burnt additions to our University of Technology. So this thing did hit level 3, and it's about to go back to level 3 as well in a moment when the academic year finishes. Uh, which allowed us to unlock a couple more buildings, including the library, the commencement office, and I also added in uh, some of the aquatic centre. So if we take a look at our education tab, we have a little option here for varsity sports. So these can be placed independently of, um, of an, a campus area you can just place these on a road like you can see here and um, but if you do place them within the campus area which we have here so if we jump on our campus see we have uh, the university of technology here if they're within that uh, district then they will become the official team of that university if you like now this is quite an american thing and um, as far as I'm aware, British universities don't really have their own dedicated teams. I know like there's a lot of college football in America. Don't really have that in England, um, but it is definitely a feature in City Skylines. So when you create it, you're going to have a little info screen here. Uh, there's going to be, you know, different information, like dates and whether or not they won their game. Uh, it also generates money in terms of tickets for you as well. There's a few different policies that you can apply here as well. Such as like, you know, giving uh, free public transport on match days. Um, increased security and like uh, subsidized like youth academy stuff these things are mega expensive but they will increase your chances of winning and ultimately uh, increasing the number of the amount of money that you're going to make from here as well so these things are pretty cool and it does fit in rather nicely to the area and um, had this thing not burnt down <laughs> before i placed it and then we did have a little bit of a centralized theme here going on with the police academy and the library uh, and the trade school fountain so this is starting to expand nicely now unfortunately this did look really nice before it burnt down so uh, i can only apologize for that uh, let's have a look what else additions we've made there is now also uh, this thing is just temporary right here don't pay too much attention to this i just wanted to add a little bit of processing for the crops we are going to refine this later on so ignore that for right now uh, there is now a bus line, or a, 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 not a bus, a, a ferry line, sorry, uh, that is reaching down the river into the lake and dropping people um, down at kind of the tourist front, uh, which we built a couple of episodes back. Uh, we've also taken out this big kind of brick thing that was along here, and we've now got a little bit of a renewable green community starting to form uh, on this side of the lake with a little bridge through. So still lots more detailing to do around this bit here. Um, but it is starting to look relatively nice now, I feel. I'm quite happy with the way it's turning out. Uh, and I'm pretty sure we did also add something into the zoo. We detailed the um, the birdhouse with a little bit of uh, some trees. And also added in the monkey palace as well. Uh, made a little bit of a path feature out of this and surrounded this with some trees as well. So that's just going to help level up our uh, wildlife centre a little bit more. Uh, it just needs a touch more entertainment to help level it up. Uh, but we've still got a little bit of space around here uh, to kind of help the zoo on its way. Now, I am pretty sure... Well, this guy's complained of not being cut to the lines. I'm pretty sure I did that last uh, off camera. I don't know why it is not connected now. It's very unusual. There we go. Don't know what was causing that. Yeah, also move the ferry depot over to the prison island as well, uh, which is going to kind of totally clear up um, this area that have uh, that we have over here. Uh, that can now be redeveloped into something fancy uh, whenever we want to. We have a little bit more room on the island. Uh, we may just leave it as woodland. I don't know. Let me see what you guys uh, want to do with this area. We do have some nice little features um, in and among here, which would be pretty cool. Uh, but let's get on with today's episode. So before we head on with the main project of what I wanted to work on today, I wanted to come in um, and actually do just a little bit of uh, detailing to the prison island. Just by kind of adding some trees and then maybe... So I want this kind of... You know, it's a dense wooded island no one can really get here. Uh, let's kind of spam some of these redwood trees about. Uh, maybe along the back here as well. 
I think that makes that island look a little bit more important, doesn't it? Especially when it's lined by trees. And uh, I am, we actually have a lot of people walking over uh, from this bridge, which I didn't think we would get. Uh, let's see what these people are doing. So, yeah, they're working at the prison and the office buildings down here. Uh, I just didn't think we'd get them walking, which is a little bit of a surprise. I thought they would drive that distance, but there you go. I am yet to be proven wrong. Uh, this place is all flooded. Again, I'm going to sort that off camera. I'm not going to make you guys sit through that. Uh, we also added in yeah, a little bit of traffic build up here. I need to rebuild this roundabout. Um, I added in a little slipway here and it deformed it, unfortunately. So I will tidy that up as well. But uh, we had a little bit of traffic backing up here with people waiting to turn into the industrial area. Um, so I just gave a little slip road which allows all the residential traffic to now slip off uh, into the direction over there. We've also added in a little bit of a walkway over here. Uh, it's kind of a little crossing point over the tram lines. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Uh, and that links up to the train station as well. And there's also uh, a cycle path here now that follows over the highway. Uh, and then brings people back down. It isn't getting too much use at the minute. And I think that's because people are actually using the tram line for cycling. Uh, which is fine. But um, I might end up eating that. I'm not sure. Uh, residences here do have the prefer cycling uh, policy, so I would expect them to actually go ahead and use that. But, oh well, doesn't matter. Lots of people milling around this park as well today, uh, coming on and off the bus lines, uh, which is good to see. Lots of people here, very happy with that indeed. Uh, maybe we could actually have a bit of a path uh, coming through here, which will link people up nicely. Very good, and uh, can't grab that one unfortunately, it's a little annoying, probably one there though. Okay, and then furthermore, just down here, I have created a little bit of infrastructure uh, for what I want to work on today, which I'm sure you are all incredibly excited about. Let's clear out all the trees from here, uh, I don't want anything around this area right now. Uh, okay, up to about there. So, after I placed the Varsity Sports Building in the University campus, I had a little bit uh, of an epiphany of what I wanted to do over here. So, we can see that this tram line now extends right up through here, so right past the town square and the park, and it uh, continues to travel up the road, though there are no tram lines here at the moment. And what I wanted to do was go ahead and make a tiny little tram interchange uh, of what is going to be residing in and around this area. So let's go ahead into our trams uh, and grab the tram tracks. I'm going to come out by with 5 and then uh, out by 10 and then from this fifth marker point uh, I just want to make a couple of little just a couple of little markers like that Again, I just want this to snap to the road guideline. Let's go ahead and turn off our angle. There we go. Okay. Let's turn all our snapping back on. And then I'm going to come out by another 10. And then back in by another 585. Okay. So now I've got the kind of main part set. Let me just go ahead and measure in the road. So from this point here back to the road uh, is 390. Let's go ahead and measure that in. And then this road can be trams as well. Okay. So, grab our roads. I'm going to grab uh, the four lane decorative with grass. I'm going to bring this in on a nice straight line. It's just going to run parallel to this point. Uh, yes, it's very fine. And then probably down here as well. Let's just link it up there for right now. So I've left quite a bit of space here, and we'll see why we're going to do that in a moment. 
Uh, let me delete this. So what we're going to do now is come back into our Varsity Sports Buildings. And we have a couple more things here as well. So we have a, ba a basketball arena, uh, which is quite grand. I think I want to save this for our downtown area. But we also have a track and field stadium and a baseball park as well. Now I'm thinking that the baseball park is going to reside down here. I think that's going to be a pretty tasty idea. Let's go ahead and drop it in. However, you will notice that when you do place these things, they have a rather enormous uh, noise radius, which you can see by that faint orange line and um, the little circle radius that comes out from it. So the green line is the entertainment value and the orange line is noise. So you definitely don't want to be placing this thing here. Up here is fine. There's no residences within that orange circle. Uh, and then they will be... Um, Alright, to place that, let's go ahead and... Uh, let's kind of push this bit back a little bit. Uh, we want anything up here. Kind of even this area out a touch. Bring it all up to the height of the baseball stadium. Here we go. Uh, that's fine. Okay, this guy's going to need water. It's absolutely fine. Let's go ahead and connect him up. And then bring this guy down into the grid. And then we'll need to account for some other uh, water networks as well at some point. There we go. So further on down there, I want to carry on expanding... Um, our tram network of torch let's knock this back a little bit come out just a tiny bit and then I want to get a little bit of um of a curb on here probably to there maybe a little bit shorter there so that will curve off in that direction uh, when we eventually need it to <coughs> Okay, so right now he is complaining of no power, but that is fine. Um, let's see if we can get in here. Maybe um, a plaza with trees would work quite nicely here. Unfortunately, we can't quite get it central, but where well, we can tidy it up with paths. So similar to this small park, uh, we can actually expand the park paths off of this one. And that is exactly what we are going to do. Right up into the corner there. Right down into this one. So I'm bringing them all off. And that's going to let people walk around in many different directions. Very tasty indeed. Okay. Is that one a little bit wonky? I think it is, isn't it? Let me uh, redraw that in. Let's go ahead and grab our uh, tram paths again. There we go. That's a little bit better. Okay. So now we have some nice tram loops uh, where our citizens can exchange different tram lines. Uh, let's not do that. Let's go ahead and turn our snapping off. And we can just about get one in here. Let's have one in there. And there as well. Uh, and then straight up here. Okay. So I think this area is going to look really sweet when we finish with it. We're going to have lots of trams coming in and out of this park. It's going to be very nice. Uh, let's have our snapping back on. I wonder if maybe we can um, actually connect these guys up directly behind. Uh, let's do the same on this side as well. Straight the way through there. Uh, and then we won't connect them there either. That'll be fine. So we've got some nice symmetry coming on right now. Uh, let's give a little bit of commercial, I think, up along the sides. Some nice big strips. I think we'll leave the front of that empty. 
And then let's have a little bit more uh, right down here as well. Let's go right to the edge. Let's get some nice big strips in. Okay, so for this tram line here, let's bring him straight down. Let me go ahead and delete this guy. Uh, and probably this guy as well. I'll leave that in right now because this is a nice little fast route uh, back into the industrial area. But what, what I want to do here is get some very symmetrical uh, grids going on. Uh, and with that in mind, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. I'm very interchangeable with my ideas, as you can tell. We're going to come out by 30. Is this guy complaining of... Okay, maybe he's got no power. Uh, let's just give him a very temporary hookup. There we go. Uh, get your suggestions down in the comments for the name of the team. And also a colour name as well. Uh, if you'd like to go ahead and suggest. And you can. Let's make them bright pink for right now. Uh, do let me know in the comments uh, what you would like to have that named as. So trams are going to come down here. And then what I think I'm going to do is create like a little tram community. Uh, let's go ahead off here. Uh, and then down here I'm going to have a tram road that links up. To here. And then down to there. And then within this I'm going to have uh, various rows of just regular rows in here. Just like that. Actually, maybe we can have one just through the middle there. I think that would be better. Uh, and then this road will be regular. I'll bring this down here and down here. And then just like that. And then the tram loop will continue. Uh, let's actually delete this for right now. And bring this guy out just a little bit further. I just want to make sure that this is symmetrically as pleasing as possible. Just play with your roads until you find uh, the right width. Let's have one like that. You can also go ahead and extend uh, this guy a little bit. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and grab some more of these roads out by another 20 or so. We do have massive residential demand right now, so this is going to be perfect uh, for getting people in the city. And we're going to have the tram come through here and here. And then we're going to switch this to a tram only lane. And have it come behind the houses. Okay. Let's go ahead and box off all these. Uh, and then we'll mimic the situation we have over here. And we'll have this one come in uh, via that side. It's a little too far. There. Okay, so we've got the nice little beginnings of a new neighbourhood here. And I think this part of town is starting to develop into something quite nice. Uh, I do want to take this series relatively slow, so I am quite happy um, with not getting straight to the downtown already. What is going on with you guys? Low land value and uh, crime. Don't know why you are suffering with crime. I'm guessing because it's the low land value, but I'm not sure why you guys are suffering so much. I mean, yeah, you're pretty average in terms of land value. I don't know why they're complaining. Maybe we can drop them a park in here. Uh, let's grab a dog park. 
Let's just drop it along there. Oh goodness. Yeah, so we're also playing with um, proper tree anarchy now as well. Uh, so this is going to be fun at trying to uh, just take some of those trees out. Let's have a look at the land value right now. So the park's going to increase land value and everything else that comes with that. There we go, yeah, that's cleared them. Maybe they were just lacking in parks and complaining. Okay, so there you go. If you do get low land value, just place a park or two near them. Uh, and that's just going to help push through as well. We've got some nice houses along the uh, the, the bike path of the, the river now, actually. It's relatively nice. Okay, so new beginnings right here. I do want to keep this road connected still. Oh, this is getting bad. I'm going to work on this off camera one day, I promise. <laughs> Don't build this. I will uh, I, I will fix it. Uh, you do not want this. This is not part of the City Skylines build guide. <laughs> yeah, don't replicate that. It's terrible. Uh, okay, so I think we're going to introduce the first high-density zonings uh, of the city uh, as we begin to approach this new uh, sector of the town. Uh, I'm going to be fairly sporadic with it, I think. Uh, so maybe we can have a bit of a high-rise flat apartment along here. Actually, no. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to paint my districts, because don't forget, guys, always paint your districts every time you build a new zone. It will help you keep track of them much easier in the future. Uh, let's kind of plan out where this is going to go as well. Let's bring it up to here. Uh, and then along the back here. It can also encompass the stadium uh, and this new... A uh, little bit of park as well. Uh, let's bring it right down to the freeway. We'll probably build on that side of the freeway at some point as well, I imagine. Let's knock all this through. And there we go. Fantastic. Alright. Uh, not enough workers. That is about to be solved. So, within this new area, I want all of my residential to be self-sufficient buildings. I'm going to apply that. So what's that that's going to do? Is it's going to consume 30% less electricity, produce 30% less garbage, but also 30% less tax income. We are making a pretty healthy bank balance right now. So I'm pretty confident that we can survive this. Let's go ahead and pour them in. Right on here as well. Now, when you're using high density zoning alongside these commercial, uh, sorry, alongside the residential, sorry, let me start that sentence again. When you're using high density residential stuff with the renewable self sufficient housing specialization, you get some really cool looking flats and apartments that spring up. These things do look really sweet. So these guys are going to be consuming 30% less electricity, th produce 30% less garbage, and also uh, give us 30% less tax income, uh, which I think is a pretty, uh, a pretty nice trade-off. Okay, I don't follow my pipeline. So I think that's that's all right. I've still got major demand. Let's go ahead and fill in another big square here. Yeah, you don't want to do all this in one go, uh, otherwise all the city, this part of the city will die uh, at one time. I have a little bit of commercial here. So our first high density commercial. Uh, and then I'm going to mix and match this street with commercial and office space. So we're starting to see some really nice looking things now. Let's give them a park as well, let's think about them. Uh, maybe these guys can have a unique building, since this is a pretty unique part of town. Maybe they can have a statue of shopping. Uh, maybe at the head of the tram. That would be pretty cool. Let's go ahead and plot that in there. And don't worry about these solid borders of where your city ends. It always makes me think it looks gross. But, you know, we will be expanding this exponentially as well, so don't worry about it right now. Uh, let's get some trams flowing in. Let's work on that. 
Uh, so for right now, our tram line is coming up here. Uh, and the other tram line is heading over here and picking up these people. We worked on that last episode. Uh, so I think I'm going to have a new tram line. That is going to start here, outside the library. And then, actually, before we do that, uh, I need to give them a way back through, don't I? Because I haven't done that right now. So it looks as though we'll have to upgrade this one into a tram lane as well. That's fine. Uh, create a new line. So this guy is going to come up and serve. Again, leave it a couple of blocks. Uh, you can stop here. Now we're going to have him come in to the first stop here. You can see as we now create this little mini interchange, um, he can loop around if we want to, but I'm not going to have him do that. What he's going to do is come down this way, and then around the residences. He's not going to stop on the main street. He's going to be serving these residential areas. Uh, let's have one here as well. And then he's going to come back through the interchange, but because he is just one line right now, um, I want him to be stopping at the same place as well. So you can imagine as you arrive at the tram interchange, it's like, oh, I need to get on line 7A or whatever. They know that this arm here is the stop for the 7A tram. So let's pop him back down. And then again, he'll need to loop all the way around to complete his stop. And we're going to see these guys come out of the trams right now. Here they come. Let's have a little look at line details. Uh, let's make this a nice green tram. Uh, and let's have a look at the line. So this can be Braithwaite uh, to the baseball grounds. Uh, how many on this right now? Seven. Yeah, I think that's okay for a line of that length. It shouldn't be uh, shouldn't be too bad. Okay. So let's talk about how we can kind of adjust from this very sudden variation in density uh, it can be a little bit hard to blend the two together but i find if you just kind of make a little bit of parkland between them and um, you can make it look a thousand times better let's come in just about there and then straight down the side of the cemetery and uh, then all the way down here. Let's have another one up through there. And another one maybe right behind these little commercial shops that have just come in. These guys can be linked up. Just like that. Uh, and probably here as well. And then I'm going to grab some trees. I just want some relatively small ones for here right now. Uh, let's go ahead and grab these ones. I'm just going to dot these out with a, a little bit of treeage. Uh, let's bring these down. Uh, and then I'm going to switch for some colour. Not on a brush size that big. I'm just kind of dot these in uh, wherever I can. So I can just help break up that transition a little bit. Uh, these guys are complaining of garbage. I'll tell you what I am going to do. Uh, because that interchange is getting... Ah, okay, that's why. My mistake. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. Um, so let me hook this back up, uh, even if it is just temporarily. Um, and then... over here as well because there were so many service vehicles that were using this road to access this part of town uh, that they were actually getting blocked up and backing way the hell up down here yeah okay I should begin to clear now people have access down to this way again 
Uh, let's go ahead and actually upgrade this bit as well. Uh, down into here. We should start seeing some cars coming down. There we go, yeah. See all the service vehicles beginning to come down here now. Here they come. Garbage trucks and whatnot. Let's have a look at this tram line. Okay, so it's 42 at one stop, uh, which is this one down here. So let's begin to carry on with our zoning. Satisfy that demand. More high density around here. Let's have a look at these new high density commercial zonings. So these aren't too bad looking, I don't think. So I've got a bit of zoning here to fulfill. That's okay. Uh, let's make a little bit of a community center. Uh, perhaps around here. Let's have a. So we're going to grab some public health buildings here. Uh, I think the community pool might be quite nice. Let's go ahead and drop that in. Again, don't forget this is going to make all our citizens very happy and uh, force these guys to level up. So let's make a bit of a feature uh, out of the community pool. Uh, through here and then around the back and also down here as well uh, and then also down here I think maybe just some low density commercial on this corner uh, coupled with some high density here and a little bit of office space on the corner there as well and then complemented by more high density residential there we're really starting to see a little bit of a town developer here now. Obviously, these places can hold more citizens. Uh, but they also look pretty sweet as well. I do like these buildings. Okay. I don't think I want him here. Let's get rid of you. Have a look at how our little interchange is faring. There's a few people on the trams, 20 there. Obviously we need to give them reasons to come here. Which is what we are doing. Uh, let's have a little look here. This is looking okay. How's the other side looking? Yeah, it's not too bad either. I think I'm going to do something similar with these spaces here. Um, like we did over here. Uh, I'll probably put them in a time lapse for now. These places are enormous. I don't know. What do you guys think about this? I do want this place to be a little bit high density, but I don't know if this is a little bit too high density. Do we want this kind of thing here? Let me know. Uh, we've got some a lot of empty zone in here for some reason. Let's go ahead and fill that in. Uh, not along the front though. Delete these guys. I uh, don't want any there. Okay, let's do some zoning decorations. Let's have a little one in here, little three by two in there, and another over here, little corner there, over here, and then we'll keep all this bit free as well. Let's have a look at in our little prop detailing bits that we've downloaded. Have a look at some park stuff. So there is a ton of different uh, pots that we can decorate with here. Little little plant pots. They look quite cool. There's a little flower garden here as well. We have one of these on each side uh, of the path. What else do we have? So you can make some really nice decorated pathways uh, with these things right here. You can just kind of lining them up in one go like that. Right up alongside your path. Uh, you can get some pretty swifty looking things. 
Uh, I have downloaded prop snapping. I just haven't figured out how to use it yet. Uh, I need to go ahead and read the workshop page. You guys can kind of get the general idea of all the different bits you can do with this. And there's absolutely loads of them. There's little hedges like this and stuff, the pavilions. There's just so much stuff here to play with. Even a little fence. You can even like fence off the the tram station. There's also residential props as well. Uh, so we can do some. Uh, don't forget, this is from the uh, more beautification mod. There really is just an absolute ton of things uh, to play with here. Lots of different lights as well to make this place look really fancy at night. So yeah, really just a whole range. Let me know, do you guys want to see me decorate this place in an episode or do you want it in a time lapse? Just let me know because that can get very tedious very quickly I imagine as a viewer. Uh, so let me know what you guys want to do. Uh, let's have another road coming down through here and I think we're going to call the episode um, about there. I've already been recording for 40 odd minutes. Okay. And then again, just a whole bunch of high density residential. Fantastic news. Uh, no. I hate those buildings. Delete them. Make the zoning smaller. This is the kind of thing I'm after for this area. Okay. Very nice. I'm happy with this. I'm just going to go ahead and grab in a couple of tram lines here uh, and plan for eventually building around this thing. So they'll just be tram only roads uh, and then they can be, for example, um, a nice adjacent uh, car road following it like that. So I want this area to be very reliant on trams. Uh, and there'll be a bunch of stuff that we can do with this next episode. You can kind of see how this makes this look a lot more important uh, when there's different trams flowing around it. And then obviously this main tram road uh, will be used to supply other areas with different trams. Uh, and the, yeah, there's a whole host of things that we can do with trams and this city. I'm looking forward to it. So guys, that is going to do it for today. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a like below is very much appreciated. Equally as much if you did not enjoy it, please feel free to leave a dislike as well. Made some nice progress today. Started a new area and these, these buildings will start to look really nice when they begin to level up, which won't take too long with all the services that we're providing. Uh, it will start to look really sweet. Uh, next episode, we'll carry on working on this area um, and start powering onto that next milestone alongside leveling up our parks and zoos and whatnot and keeping everything nice and leveled up. Otherwise, enjoy the little outro time that happens at the end of these episodes um, and we'll leave it there. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video.